Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial and in continuing with our rundown of every single tool in Photoshop, we're to the lasso tool. We're going to cover all three lasso tools really quickly. The lasso tool is the lasso tool I should say is very simple. You simply boom, wrap around something to select it, command or control D to deselect. You can hold down the shift key, right? Hold down the shift key to add to that selection or the alt key to remove a chunk of that selection. Again, command or control D to deselect. But we also have the polygonal lasso tool, which you can just go ahead and select uh, and make a selection with all straight lines. Now, the cool thing about the polygonal lasso tool is you can hold down the shift key to get perfectly straight lines in your selection. And you can hold down the command key. This You don't have to be holding down the shift key while holding on command. Hold down command and click anywhere and it will auto automatically join your selection right to where you began the selection. Command or Control D to deselect. You also have the magnetic lasso tool, which is kind of crazy. I almost never use it. Um, the only thing of note here is frequency. That's basically how many dots um, on our uh, lasso selection that this tool is going to put down. It's like if we wanted to make a selection of her arm. In theory, the magnetic lasso tool would follow the edges of her fingers, but you can see it does kind of a eh, eh, job at best. Um, so, you know, whatever, and I'm not even really trying. And then you can use a hold down command or control to just join your selection. Um, and we pop that up onto its own layer and you can see it's, uh, it's pretty rough. So that's the lasso tool. Uh, the, really the lasso tools you're probably going to find you use are lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool, but Hey, who am I to discriminate against the magnetic lasso tool? Because it is there after all the lasso tool in Photoshop. That's it. Get it. Got it. Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.